glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. God, we bless you this morning. God, we honor you this morning. There is none like you in all the earth. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Why don't we change? Just a couple of seconds to give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in, and they are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
the church found on page 138, Look and Live. I have a message from the Lord, hallelujah. A message, oh my friends, to you. It's recorded in his word, hallelujah. Jesus said it, and I know it's true.
And we know that God loves a cheerful giver. And you can't be God's giver. No matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more he'll give to you. The quiet is to sing, just keep on giving. Because it's really true. That you can't be God's giver. No matter how hard you try. We want you to know that you can send in your financial contribution by mail. Our address is 241-45 Gates Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11238. Or you can send in your financial contribution to our Givelify and Cash App. Amen. Our cash out name is Dollar Sign NSBC 1919. Every time I get a chance, I want to give to the Lord because God has blessed me abundantly. Amen. We want to thank God for every giver. Come on, let's give God praise for every giver. I'm going to call on our deacon to give us our morning prayer. And we're going to move into the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's greet it with a hearty amen. amen. Let the Lord use you. Our deacon Ray Lucas. Come on, let's give him a hand. In the name of Jesus.
to pray for me and I'm so glad about it. Without prayer, I wouldn't be here today. Without having somebody to pray for me, I wouldn't be able to stand. But had it done all to stand, I thank God that it was prayers of the righteous. Y'all didn't hear what I said. I said, I thank God that it was prayers of the righteous that have given much. That's why I'm able to stand today. So I will say, it's not because I've been so good. It was not because I was so deserving. But because God has been so good and so merciful, I'm so glad somebody prayed for me. Amen. into the word of the Lord. Amen. Somebody said the word of the Lord is powerful. Amen. It's good to sing. It's good to pray. But somebody said the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Yea, glory be to God. Just doesn't perform miracles on 
one day. But every day, God is always performing miracles. I think that some of us believe that a miracle is a one-time thing. I believe that some of us believe that a miracle is a one-shot deal. But if I had about a couple of witnesses in this place on this live, you ought to testify to yourself that every time I wake up in the morning, it is a miracle. Every time that I'm able to breathe again, it is a miracle. Somebody ought to shout, God is performing miracles every day. I'm reminded of a song that we sing here at Mount Sinai often. We sing the song, Great Years, Thy Faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand have provided. Great years, thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Somebody would say, Because God has been faithful to me, I've been faithful to him. He continues to perform a miracle in my life. And so uh, uh, last week uh, we seen God performing a miracle for Abraham. Uh, yes, we see that God performed a miracle for his son. Uh, God provided a lamb for the burnt offering. We see that the miracle of provision, yes, was made for Abraham. But uh, I want us today to focus on the miracle of healing. Uh, I believe that there are so many people that are afflicted and sick among us by God. And so many people feel that they're not able to be healed. They're, they're not able to be cured. There is no cure for what I'm going through. But I stop by to let you know today that God is still in the healing business. And so when we look at our text this morning, we see that prior to Jesus healing men, men and prior to Jesus going with James and, and, and Andrew, before the scripture, he drives out an evil spirit. He was already on the go, my God. And the scripture said that as soon as they left the synagogue, he went with James and John to the house of Simon and Andrew. And Simon's mother-in-law was in the bed with the fever. And the Bible said that they told Jesus about it. Let me tell you something, believers of God. When you feel sick and afflicted, I know most of us, we get in the form or formality of complaining to our friends, complaining to our family members. We get on the phone and as soon as you say, how you doing? Girl, I got an ache in the pain. How you doing? Girl, I'm just sick. And I, I got this guy and I just don't know what to do. But what I know about this text is they didn't go complaining to one another because they already knew what the deal was. But because I know that this man, Jesus, is a healer, and because I know that he still performs miracles, let me tell Jesus about everything that I'm going through. What are you trying to say today? It's time to stop telling your friends and tell the one and only true friend, Jesus, all about your struggle. My God, I feel good today. We used to sing a whole hymn. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and dreams today. What a privilege it is to take everything. Some of us only want to take some things. But we don't want to take everything to God in prayer. We only want to take those things that we want to God in prayer. But you can take little things. You can take big things. You can take any size thing to God in prayer. And I guarantee you that God will work it out. Yes, God, I still believe in miracles. And so Simon's mother-in-law was in the bed with the fever, and they told Jesus about her. Yes, yes, yes. So he went to her and took her hand and helped her up. And so in this text, I realized that after they confessed to Jesus what the issue was, Jesus addressed the issue. And so when you to God in prayer, God will address your issue. But what I know about this text is our miracle doesn't necessarily have a label. Most of us, we label our miracle just for one thing. But I believe God to pay my bills. I believe God to put I haven't got enough help in here. I believe God to put shoes on my feet. I believe God to put clothes on my back. People are looking at you and saying, How did she get this? And Somebody was shocked. It was a miracle. God stepped in and blessed me. Somebody was shocked. I still believe in 
miracles. Yes, yes, Lord. I, I'm almost finished. And so the Bible said that Jesus took her by the hand and, and helped her up. And the scripture said that the fever left her and she began to wait on them. And so what I see in this text is that Jesus didn't come out. Some of us come. Let me help you out. Some of us come and, and then we start blah, 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 blah. And we start laying hands. But Jesus didn't say anything. Uh, Mark didn't denote in this text that Jesus said anything specific to her. But all the scripture said that Jesus took her by the hand. Oh, I love that real cool. You know, sometimes when you know what he can do, you don't have to say nothing. All you have to do is say, Lord, take my hand and, and leave. Come on, somebody. I, I need sometimes when you really in trouble and sometimes when you really sick and afflicted. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
and Jesus healed many who had various diseases and he also drove out many demons but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. I come to say notice on New York City and all the 50 other states that it's time that we take all those who are sick and stop trying to heal them
God. We say our kingdom come. Let's sing our closing the song. Praise Him. We're going to say to you now. We want to sing our benediction song. We pray now that the love of God that was found in Christ Jesus and the sweet communion of His Holy Spirit rest through the body. We claim our miracle of healing. Last week we claimed our miracle of provision. Oh God, still miracles after miracles. Miracles, signs, and wonders to perform. We pray the love of God is found in Christ Jesus and the sweet communion of His Holy Spirit. Rest through the body in each and every heart. Both now and forever. Let all of our children say amen. Amen and amen again. Join us in our closing song with you. Amen. Yeah.